What's up guys, Sans Heaven here, and we're on the Lucky 7 account, and I believe I'm going to stick with a lot more free-to-play action, considering where I see the game and where my main is and whatnot, I just, eh, here we go, and, well, it's going to be some hero expeditions, and let's go ahead and get all the guys in there, and unfortunately, I can still only use six at a time, as opposed to, say, the ten on my main, which actually at least creates a challenge okay so all the heroes on one side nothing on this side which means i want to kill across map and i'm gonna start with druid so he can just go ahead and tank everything and then i'm gonna let my thunder god swing away for as long as he can until i pick up aggro from anything else from there well i'm hoping the thunder god is going to be able to take out the heroes and a decent portion of the troops Okay, so Town Hall's gone now, and then we're going to sit back and watch him proc. There we go. Troops and troops. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Hit him again. And kill him. Thank you very much. That is a lot of troops over there. Luckily, Thunder God's going to continue to wipe them out. Now, while a Reaper might only hit a few targets at once, it would at least be beneficial towards speeding this process up a little bit. I don't want to bring in Pumpkin Duke yet because it's going to decrease the number of procs that Thunder God's going to have. And I don't want to deal with any aggro because I want to get through this to get the 100% as well as not losing any heroes. And it looks like Thunder God's going to need to proc one more time. And we're going to go ahead and just bring in Pumpkin Duke right there to stay on the outside. And then it's going to be a Mortep coming in on the left to tank the troops because he should be okay. I don't want him having both camps, though. So wait for Thunder God to pick up one. And there we go. Okay, should be good right there. Now, this actually still involves strategy. It still involves skill, timing, all that good stuff. That's why I'm going to be sticking to making more of the free-to-play videos versus on my main account, which all the skill, all the strategy, it's basically gone. All right, so moving on to R2. Now, how far will I get in this? Probably not very far. All right, heroes are split up. Towers, two of them, no purples. This one shouldn't be too bad. And now I'm going to go ahead and tank. And Druid is my tank. Druid is an absolute beast with that four or five life drain. Just drop them all in right there. And what you're going to see is they're all going after Druid, but he's healing for... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Okay. That was a little too much. And now I lost my most critical hero. So, obviously, I can't have both those camps come after me. And now I'm going to go ahead and tank with the traditional tank. Bring him in and get everybody else in. So, probably going to lose my paladin very quickly, but that's okay. I'm going to bring in Succubus right after. It's just too bad that I lost that druid. And oh my god, do not lose Thunder God. And I'm going to lose Thunder God in three, two, no, who? What, what, what's going on? I can't see who the troops are going after. Oh, what a timely heal from Druid. That tower needs to go down. Come on, Druid. Another heal from Thunder God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Pumpkin Duke, come on. Come on, Druid. Heal. Druid, heal. Druid. All right. Kill that executioner, and there shouldn't be anything else to kill me. Right? Okay. Thank goodness. This was a, well, rough R2, but getting through it nonetheless. Now, really, what are the rewards for it? Crap. I mean... 31 merits, 190 honor badges, it's not worth it. And, well, I'd rather just continue to bump my might to the point where I can't even do this if that's what it takes. It really doesn't matter because when it comes to Storm Mesa, I mean, that's 100 a pop, which you can do four a day. I believe it's four a day with a timer. And that's 400 as long as you're doing it correctly. Now... Let's go ahead and just finish this expedition off, and probably not getting much farther. Alright, spread out. Here is, I don't like this one bit. Okay, Thunder God, show me your stuff. Don't proc on the damn town hall. Of course. He loves procking on town halls. Now, once I get to the middle, I don't think I have anything that's going to be able to tank 
those towers. At least there aren't a bunch of troops. I will open with Druid right here. And now. Okay. Go ahead and get everybody in. We'll see what we do. Now, dropping Thunder God in different spots, say, if I opened with him over here, there's a chance that he might not proc on Town Hall. Just play with it a bit if you're wanting to spend all the time to, you know, get a perfect one and move through. Really, right now, I'm just moving through as quickly as possible. No scare me. Come on, Amortep. Stun them all. Kill them all. Stun them all. Triple stun. Followed by Thunder God owning it. And we'll leave before... Get, 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 get out. <laughs> Cannot believe I left with my Pumpkin Duke alive right there. That's a skip. Okay, and I don't think I can do anything about the towers. Basically, focus tower aggro like that. I can't stop. It's too many griffins. I can't stop. Nope. Okay, might be able to... Maybe. We will see. Now, what I'm going to want to do is get rid of dummies. So, we're going to tank and kill and do the same thing over here okay what I want what I'm doing is getting rid of those troops right there so when I drop my thunder god on the opposite side I'm hoping I'm not going to be dealing with all those stoppers where he's proccing and he can proc on the heroes in the middle now will it actually happen who knows we'll see but it's worth a try and even the town hall being in the center if he procs on the town hall it's a decent chance I hit the heroes as well not to mention, while moving through here, I'm going to pick up some of these buildings, getting closer to that 50%. And, well, do I have any extra heroes? I need to keep my succubus, my six main. Hmm. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and bring Paladin in over here. Druid, you alright? I can't move until I have my Druid. Because I don't want to get in trouble taking aggro with Thunder God and not having Druid. So we're just going to go ahead and wait. Wait and wait and wait until Druid dies. But he's going to heal. He's going to he not heal. And he's going to die. Well, at least that Paladin should be taking care of business by himself. Why not give him a little help? I can afford to lose Succubus. Now, I'm dropping Thunder God... Hopefully he's going to be proccing in the center on heroes, and he's not going to be proccing on troops, but we will just have to wait and see. And there the aggro comes, so let's go ahead and get everybody in, see if we can get some healing. Now, those are level 10 towers, it would appear, as quickly as they're taking down the 7-star Thunder God. But Druid's coming in and heal, and at least the towers have split now, not just hitting on Thunder God. Woo, something's ready. Alright. Still at only 35%. And I'm saving that champ to the pick up basically that 50% if I can, which I'm going to lose all my heroes. This is going to be the last one I do, but I at least want to get a 50% out of it. Bye, Druid. Bye. Okay, so at 43%, we can go ahead and bring him in. Come on. 46%. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it down. Oh my god, this is going to be so close. I need to kill two. I don't think I'm going to get it because I think I need to kill two things. No, I got 50%. And, well, everyone goes down. No reason to have one survivor. Well, maybe to tell the tale. You get to tell the tale. Okay. So, well, that's it for that. And grabbed a few merits. Now... Take a look at the Trade Center. Yeah, 2,000 merits, but most of that's from the Storm Mesa. It's not from the Hero Expeditions. And that's what a Hero Expeditions at 15,000 might looks like with basically most guys, well, yeah, most, 66% of the team sitting at seven stars with some good talents. I mean, a 4 or 5 life drain on that Druid, all, as well as a 4 or 5 stone skin on a Mortep. He's beefy as it is. You can see all the hit points he has right there at 25,900. Thunder God, good hero to have. Now, the Reaper will really help out. That's what is next on the list, 4,200. So, not that far off being that he's 7,000. So, a little more work to do. Then, have Reaper, replace him here with Champ, probably be able to beat HBMH 
pretty easily definitely be farming G and being close to farming H. And once he's seven stars, that Reaper, seven stars and maybe four of nine, five of nine will be farming H very consistently. All right, well, that's it for this one, guys. And the winner of the account listed in the description. Fans have it out.